Mark Rommel here for Lund Pro Staff Tips. I'm also known as Manitoba Muskie because I love fishing for muskie. And uh, I've learned a lot about uh, the catch and release of muskie, which is so important. And I think that a lot of people, when they're just getting into the muskie, they want to make sure they've got the proper equipment for, for catching and, and releasing muskie so that you know the muskie will grow and we'll be able to keep on enjoying them for years to come. So I think the first thing you want to have is a good rod and reel, you know, you, and, and the proper line. You want to have minimum 80 pound test on your line. And uh, you know, there's so many musky rods out there, you can go to your local tackle store and you'll find, they'll set you up with all the, all the proper equipment you need. You know, you want to have your you know, Nipex pliers or some really good quality pliers that you can cut your hooks if you need to. Have a set of needle nose pliers so that you can, if, they, if the hook goes a little deep, you can get in there. Good set of jaw spreaders. In terms of uh, the, the catching and releasing part of it, I like uh, a huge pen net. You can catch your muskie and you can, it never has to leave the water while it's hooked. If you don't have a net with good fin saver material on it, you probably shouldn't be fishing muskie. You really got to make sure you have a really good net. If you're going to take a photograph and a measurement, you know, there's a lot of muskie bump boards that you can just, uh, you know, get it wet, put the muskie on there, get your quick measurement, your buddy's there with the camera, Take your hero shot and then get it back in the water and just uh, slowly let that muskie recuperate. You shouldn't have it out of the water for any length of time. You know, they say as long as you hold your breath is how long it should be out of the water. If you get into this muskie uh, fishing, you'll find out you'll never have enough tackle. You'll keep on getting all different colors, all different types of lures that you want to want to use. A lot of guys are using uh, bucktails, big bucktails, double ten cowgirls, uh, Dadson blades something like a Booker tail. The depth raiders are my favorite. I love these crankbaits. I just, I use them all the time. Uh, this one's a jointed, jointed Booker tail. Some of my different colored Booker tails and also some of these uh, Cisco kids, which I really like the vibration of. That's why I, I tend to use these a lot, either Booker tails or, or Cisco kids. Sometimes I think a person can get overwhelmed by all the tackle that, that one has and then some guys might switch lures so much and uh, I know a lot of the guys say that it's, it's better not to sort of switch up lures, you know, get your confident lures and just use those exclusively. You know, others switch them up and it seems to work for them too. So you kind of got to go with what you feel. When you get out musky fishing, just please make sure you treat that fish with uh, respect. You know, one could even say love. Leave, leave that fish in the same condition that you found it in. I actually have switched to fishing barbless. And it, I barely even have to use my catch and release tools because as soon as I get, they get in the net, they pop right out. So I encourage you to even consider doing the barbless thing. It's good for you, good for the musky, good for the fishery. Next up, team number 15, guided by Mark Remmel. 